Welcome back. It's another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman, brought to you by Sanford Arts. My name is Mark Zimmerman, and what I'm doing right now is rolling a very, very thin layer of intense black printmaker's ink, etching ink, out on a sheet of plexiglass. I'm going to drop a sheet of paper over that ink and then I'm going to draw and rub on the back of that paper and transfer the ink to the front with the pressure of the pen and my fingers and um, that is an ink transfer drawing. And I'll finish this one with some watercolor. Actually I've been finishing them all with watercolor. Sometimes I like them black and white. But for the ones going to Sanford, I've finished them all in watercolor. So. so the ink is inside a rectangle of tape, and I can feel that tape. Find the corner and feel the tape. There we go. Okay, so I'm looking at a photograph of a frog, a red-eyed tree frog. Um, let's see here, where do I want to start? Let's go up here and let's just go like this. Let's just start with his big old eye. <laughs> and pupil, which is very dark. But I'm going to leave a little light in the middle of it. So I'm transferring ink to the underside here. That's all that's happening. Um, I'm going to grab a bridge. If I set my hand down or touch the back of the paper in any way, it transfers ink to the front. And um, I kind of don't want to do that much. There's a little, little dark line in here. Here's a frog eye. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's see. Just looking at shapes, see the shape, draw the shape the way I see it. There we go. Oh, I see a little shape right out here, a little closer to, a little closer to this eye than that eye. I think it's his left nostril. I don't really see the right one. I see. Um, See a little ding here, and 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 uh, hmm. let's Well, there's his smile. <laughs> I 
actually it looks very stoic really The wrinkles coming down his throat. Uh, hmm. Let's come up in here and Finger is right over here, but it's behind his chin. And so right here is his little finger. Funky fingers. And right off the paper, right on schedule. We're good. Hmm, I see something back here and I um, think it's his back leg. Kind of hard to see. Okay. Now he seems to be perched on a rock or something. More fingers. Maybe before I do the fingers I should finish the body. Okay. Just make sure I don't draw fingers where I need to draw a body. So a good drawing to have that little bridge so I can rest my hand. Uh-huh. Does this. And then does this. No, oh, it does this. No, it does this. Let's draw the rock. Mm, that rock doesn't come out over there, it's just over here. Okay. I'll tell you what, red-eyed tree frogs are fun to draw. I uh, wonder if I need any texture anywhere. Maybe a little bit right in here. A little bit. 
in there. A little bit, especially right here. Not so much texture as cross contour lines there. Cross contour lines again. Uh, hmm. Let me see something in here too. On closer inspection, I don't know what that is. Back foot, maybe. to this rock. Okay. Boy, I think we're uh, done with him. Uh, I'm going to splash a little color on him next. And I'll show you the picture I was looking at. <laughs> crazy looking critter there he is you'll notice he came out backwards it always happens anytime you do a transfer drawing it all comes out backwards so let's let's think backwards then let's put a board under here so I can tip it in various directions So, if I'm looking at that eye, that's this eye, and I notice I need a little bit of yellow in there. And this eye, it's quite, quite a bit of yellow. And yellow there. What I'm doing is painting highlights. I'll come back and paint him green. I haven't lost my mind. Uh, I can see that he's green, don't worry. Well, that's actually yellow skin there, so that's going to end up staying yellow. Most of this yellow is going to get painted over. Most of the yellow gets painted over. Let's see if I can do this without bumping the tripod. It's not good if I jump, dump the Jump, bump the tripod or dump it. That's not good either. OK. 
Okay, that should do it for yellow. I'm going to come back with a little purple. I'm actually going to use a palette and mix up this really, really light, light purple. I'm guessing that his um, stomach is actually white. But it sure looks purple. And I'm guessing that that is just a shadow. That should be it for purple, not quite. We need some darker purple though. That's too much paint though. Only darker but not that dark. Okay, that should do. Let's put some shadows on his fingers and toes. See if I can remember that one toe there. Um, so the shadows here, there's that one toe I was going to forget. Shadows are red. Skin, I believe, is actually orange. But it's got a shadow on it, so it doesn't look orange. You thought I was going to paint the eyes red, huh? Let's look at this arm, or fingers. Let's paint those eyes red. At least some of them. Oop, there's a little loose dog hair. Who has a puppy? <laughs> okay. He's got some blue skin. How cool is that? He also has some shadows on green skin, and so we're going to do both those things with this blue. And we're going to get that little dog hair out of there too. So we got a beautiful little turquoise blue here we're going to put in there. And here. And a little bit right there. And right there, just a little bit of green on his lower lip, but not much. And this isn't really have a shadow on it, but I'm going to put a shadow on it because I want it to sink back in space. Uh, this has actually got a blue shadow. Actually, that's actually blue skin. Get, get a little more paint.
All right, dry a little bit. <laughs> that kind of needs to dry before I come back with the orange and the green. So while that's drying, or so that can dry, let's come back. Let's make our rock. Let's make our rock brown and I'm gonna I want to get underneath this So I'm gonna turn it to suit me not you sorry And I'm gonna tip it a little bit so it runs downhill See if I can sneak in here with a big brush. Yep. I can hear my wife out in the pasture. I'm out in the barn. The studio's in the barn. I can hear her out in the pasture calling the puppy. Which makes me wonder why the puppy's not... where the puppy is and what the puppy's doing. <laughs> Hope everything's okay. Puppies, man. Yikes. Kind of make, makes me miss my old dog. Heck, I miss my old dog anyway. I like those old dogs. See if I can get this to kind of run out of paint right as I get to the bottom of the paper. There's our rock. I know he's got a brown rock, but or a black rock. Um, we're gonna give him a. We're not giving him a black rock. So I'm going to work the other way this time. So you get to look at it right side up for a while. So I'm uh, going to put in a really light blue background here. And I, it's a different blue. I used a turquoise blue for the shadows on the frog and for the f frog skin too. There's a chunk of something. That's really light blue. And again, I'm going to see if I can kind of run out of paint about the time I hit the end of my watercolor wash. There we go. Still waiting for that frog to dry, so I'm going to come back and do a couple things here. Um, let's put a little yellow in here, a little yellow in there. Give a little depth to some of this rock. Let's kind of explain that there's a shadow too. So I'm gonna. For some reason, when I paint that rock, I want that thing turned.
She's still calling that puppy. Puppy's name is Cleo, so I keep hearing Cleo. <laughs> like, Cleo, answer. <laughs> Here's our rock, not so flat anymore. Let's do the green next. Is that what I want to do? Yeah. Let's see what color that green is. That'll work. So, right over the blue, right, oh, in the, into the background. And then it comes down here. One last color. A little orange, let's see how dark that orange is. Pretty dark. It'll be okay. <laughs> 